huh? Head scratchies. Oh, feels great. Head scratchies are the best. You're the best. So. <laughs> I, I mentioned earlier that we were gonna, that talking about your um, anxiety would possibly help to talk about it. What do you think? Because I don't, I have no help for you because I've never had that. I've been anxious before, you know, every time before I go play a show. No, like it, that. Like, I know it's not the yeah. same. I don't have any like severe physical shaking or uh, shortness of breath, inability to catch a full breath. Yeah. Uh, um... Or we can talk about the fact that it's our anniversary and it, it just feels like a regular day because uh, you went to work and uh, the kids are driving me not insane, but a little <laughs> bit crazy and trying to clean the house, trying to edit a bunch of videos, um, all that goodness, you know. Well, someday we will celebrate our anniversary properly. Yeah, I'm sure we will. We just have, we have too much coming up to like go out to dinner or spend money like we just oh i know yeah. trust me when the power was shut off today i know uh, i wasn't feeling like i had anything to do anything not that we didn't weren't able to pay I just like, <laughs> like frank frank max showed up mm -hmm. and i saw him down there doing some kind of work on on um yeah, Elise, she had the ashley's yeah she had some kind of plumbing okay. issue there next door and then while he was down there i went to plug in my computer and it didn't pull, charge and i was like that's weird. And I looked over in the stove and microwave uh, clocks are off. And I was like, oh, maybe Frank's doing something down there. I need to shut the power off real quick. I was like, okay. Whatever. And then uh, then he left and the power was still off. And I was yeah. like, so I called him and he didn't answer. And I was like, well. And I went, so I went down to check the breakers and all the breakers were on. He didn't like go and shut off any breakers or anything. So like all the breakers are still on, but the meter was at zero because there's no power coming in. Mm. And so I was like, hmm. And then, but I hear jackhammers down the street, so I'm thinking maybe the, the guy's doing work on the pavement street down there knocked something out accidentally. So I called pg &E to try and figure out what was going on and see if there was any outage in the area. And then it didn't do what it usually does, which is play, a, you know, a, a message. A record a message if there's on. an outage in the area. Mm -hmm. And I get on the phone with somebody who's like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 your bill wasn't paid, and that's why it's shut off. And I was Ooh, like, they will hear from me tomorrow. <laughs> Did you find those, did you print out that stuff that I asked you for? Or did you look it up on I your... looked it up and then you walked, then you ran away. Oh, okay. See, the tricky thing is that I set up the payment plan thing on their, through, via their phone recording. It was like all a phone recording thing. Yeah, well, that's how so I, I, that's how I email, paid it today. I don't have any email proof of that. And they didn't give any kind of confirmation number? Because they gave me a confirmation number for paying today. Not that I have in my emails. Anyways. Well, no, they didn't give, email me anything either. I had to write it down off of the phone. Oh, well, maybe I did that. Who keeps that kind of thing, though? Anyways, I'm going to talk to them tomorrow. And you said something about a deposit? They want us to pay a deposit? Well, since we didn't pay, they want, yeah, a deposit now because oh, they yeah, think no, that no, we're, no. don't no, have I'm good. I'm going to talk to them and figure that out. No, no, no. I can solve it. Hey. <laughs> Oh, by the way, it's not, it's not that we couldn't afford to pay the electric bill, it just didn't get paid. You just didn't, but you thought you scheduled to be paid, but it just, but it didn't. Yeah, I thought we were on automatic payment. I yeah. set up automatic payment via the phone when I also called to pay off PG&E, your billing sucks. <laughs> it is a third party, it seems, because they sent me back, to, like, because I had to go back to PG&E to confirm that it had been paid with my number. Like on the phone, they said we're sending you back to PG&E now, so it's definitely a third party that's doing the billing. Anyways, we'll talk to them tomorrow. Um, yeah. So today at work, I did not feel great. There were two separate times when, like, I walked away from a table and I felt this like physical like rush, like almost to where I thought I was gonna maybe pass out. So I went and like drink some lemonade because I thought maybe I'm having issues with my blood sugar. Like maybe I'm, my blood sugar is getting low. I'm not like eating often enough. I don't, I, 
I don't really want to talk about my anxiety because I don't know what's going on. Um, there's things I suspect, but I also feel like I have a handful of friends who are in their early 30s and mothers who have been experiencing anxiety for the first time at that point in their life, you know, like late 20s, early 30s. Um, never experienced it before, so I'm wondering if there's like some sort of hormonal thing going on or deficiency that I'm not aware of because just, what, a month and a half ago I went to like... We just had blood work done, right? Yeah, but they, I don't know what they check for. I mean, she said I'm not anemic. They check for like, I think they check for like major things. Well, you can get blood work done that's way more extensive that checks your adrenals and your hormones and your thyroid stuff that like a basic blood panel is not going to cover. So I am really excited to go see a naturopath. Um, she does a very, it's a 75 minute appointment. Any supplements I take, I bring with me. I just personally, I don't know why I'm having so much anxiety at work. It's not hard for me. It's not. You've been in that line of work for a long time. Yeah, exactly. And however, I did have my first anxiety attack ever there. And so unfortunately what I think is happening is because of what happened on Friday when I had another anxiety attack plus a migraine all at once, plus like my last day of antibiotics and taking Excedrin and my blood sugar was low. It was like this combination that like made me almost drive myself to the hospital. And the first day of Carpet Fest. Which that wasn't stressful to me. I know, I know. I was just saying that it was yeah. horrible timing. No, honestly, that's probably why I didn't go to the hospital because I was like, I know you had a lot going on and I didn't want to be like... But no, I'm at the you, hospital. No, you could have gone to the hospital if you really wanted I know, to. I know, but. It's. So it's like, now when I go to work, I have like this fear that it's going to happen again. And so then that like gives me more anxiety because. You know, like when you experience something and then you go do that same thing, you kind of like, you can't help but expect that or feel part of that same experience. You know what I mean? Sure. Like when I, after getting jumped on mushrooms every time after, I just kind of have this feeling like, oh, somebody's going to come jump me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like there's, there was like something going on today where like, like I said, there was like twice. You can like cut some of this out. Cause... But like there was twice when I felt like, whoa, like. <sighs> but then I come home and I'm fine and I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know if like. I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. So it's hard for me to talk about it because. I don't really have anything to say about it except for like sometimes I think I'm going crazy and other times I think there's like some sort of physical imbalance happening. Well, my main purpose was I think there's a lot of people like, like Bradley and a lot of people who I think watch that they have actually been through the real anxiety and like potential what you're doing and like maybe you can throw out some tips and tricks to how they got through it and like what kind of like it seemed like talking with Bradley helped you quite a, a bit just in the moment you know because he did, could relate and I can't because I've never experienced anything like it you know I mean I've had hardships in different directions I guess but not like that so yeah and it's hard to understand if you've never experienced it because like it just sounds like you're freaking out but there's a combo of like physical things that are taking place and then it takes your mind somewhere but then the physical things come back and you're like no I'm not like you know my heart is fluttering or I I don't know there's just I 
this is why I, I don't understand why you're going back to work. Like, I thought you said you're going to take some leave of work. And yet, I was like, so you're going to take off work tomorrow? And you're like, no, no, I'm going to go. And I'm like, what, why? <laughs> Honestly, like, we have a lot coming up financially in the next few months. And it's just probably going to stress me out if I'm not contributing. We have Eli's birthday at Disneyland. We have Leia's procedure. We have my doctor's appointment. I also have, I'm starting to do the shows. So, and also, I looked at the next one's thing, and it, it like, you can take... If the work is causing your anxiety, you can take a break from work. I guess there's a part of me too that like, is like, no, like screw this. Like, I can, like, this is stupid. Like I can go to work. Like it's not stressful for me. Like I had three tables and I was freaking out mentally. And like, there's a part of me that's like. It's not stressful. <sighs> you had three tables and you're freaking out mentally. Uh, those two <laughs> statements don't compute. In like my... there's no, there's no rational, there's like no rationale as to why I should be having anxiety. And I almost feel like if I, like I want to I don't like, think there ever is it. for people. I, I, that's why I wanted you to be able to say that to other people. Because I don't, I don't think there ever is a rationale for why you have people ever feel anxiety. I think it's just something that doesn't, there's not necessarily a, a, a situation or reason I, mean, I don't know. I, triggers. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, triggers. triggers. Like, like work seems. But I've been working there for three and a half, almost four years. And yeah, I've had like little bouts of anxiety when I've worked there, but like this is something different. It's just your hormones. Maybe it's just your hormones coming back into play. I'm mean, about to about to be probably weaning mushy, probably, and like if it's like right in the spectrum of. Hormones coming back into play, and then you had all those antibiotics. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that, yeah, are totally. going into... And honestly, it's been happening since I was on the antibiotics. So, right. like, I feel like... It but... killed off some of your beneficial bacteria that were keeping whatever's going on at bay, and then those bacteria are gone, and so you got to build them back. I don't know. I'm theorizing here. No, I mean, that's very possible. That's why I'm really excited to sit down with the doctor and just talk about all this, and just... Because I... For me, I feel like there's something physical going on. It's not just like my mental state. It's not just that. Well, that's what it seems like anxiety is, is you get something going on that maybe starts mental, but it's, it actually manifests itself physically. Or vice versa. Something physical happens and then it gets my mind reeling and makes me worried that something serious is wrong and brings fear in, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's a a combo of stuff but I just want to get like my physical self checked out and reassured that everything is fine or if everything's not fine like how can we get stuff back into balance because if I know that physically like everything is all good which I'm pretty sure like there's nothing serious going on with me like you know but I think there might be some like minor deficiencies or imbalances um, so I want to get that figured out because if I can check that off the list, like, okay, you know, physically I'm in good health. I like, I know what's going on with me physically and hormonally and all that. Okay. I can check that off the list and it's not something I need to worry about. You know, if I am having anxiety, I can know this is purely anxiety, you know, and there, here's things I can do. You know, I, I definitely was considering... Um, I use my CBD, but I was considering going down to, um, Grover Beach to the, the shop and getting something with THC in it and like doing a little self medication that way. Just like a light dosage. Something. I heard that kinda... CBD was the way to go. Yeah, but I've been doing that and did a lot of that and I did mm. a lot today and yesterday and it helps a little bit, but like, I feel like I'm at the point right now where like. It's like a beer or some DA. Like, I just, I need something to kind of help take the edge off. I mean, if you're going to go to the medicinal route, obviously, you know, when I stand on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, good. Well, I mean, I know 
that you're going to make it through whatever it is that you've been going through recently. I know that. You know what I mean? Um, my whole, Again, my whole purpose of wanting you to come and talk with it here is so that people who have been through it can share their experiences in the comments down below so you can see, uh, hear stories from other people who have been through it. Because I know there's people out here that have, have been through it and can relate their experiences to just, you know, you just, you, that the, there's a light at the end of the tunnel for it. And I hope that also it helps you feel better. Obviously, it's making you upset in the moment, but hopefully it makes you feel better to be able to put it out there more than just talking to me one-on-one, just somebody who has no way to relate to what you're going through. Maybe you just need to eat more bean chips. <laughs> I mean, you, we have enough bags of them sitting around the house. If you eat more bean chips, it could be what you're deficient in. I mean, anyway. <laughs> bean chips. I got a bag sitting right over there. I can grab them for you. And maybe you, you eat the whole bag and then do this thing. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I have. Sunday off though from work and like I want to give it a couple more shifts and if I'm still not feeling good then I'm gonna take a step right, back well, if, if you're okay if you feel like we're gonna be okay financially with those things coming up let's go a little bit further into debt if we need to it's better than <laughs> someone is what's another couple Jesus no <laughs> I, mean, I was making a joke with Gary yesterday on the podcast about he was drinking, um, we we're both, you know, having a glass of whiskey with the podcast and he was drinking out of, uh, one of the little deli cups, one of the little snake water deli mm -hmm. cups. Mm -hmm. And I brought down one of my nice glasses and, uh, we we're joking about, well, I guess we weren't necessarily joking. I don't actually owe money on the glass, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing is talking about that's his style, a little piece of crap. It works. And it serves the purpose and it, you know, it makes it stylish because it's like, ooh, it's a nice whiskey in this little plastic thing. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and I've made a joke of like, well, I've got this nice glass here, <laughs> but it's, I, it's, I, you own your little piece of plastic. I'm still paying off this glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a joke. <laughs> kind of. I'm just, like I'm just going to put that up on cut if you're okay with it because it'll, I don't know, there's no reason to cut it in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like. I think it's good to put it out there. It'll, I think it'll help other, I think it'll help you and I think it'll help other people too. Yeah. It's just hard to know, like, everyone is so different as far as, like, what. Sure, but but from what I understand, I mean, even just like only one person, you know, with Bradley is like his, literally, literally his physical reactions were, what he described were the exact same like symptoms. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. No. It, it's definitely. And he's never been pregnant. <laughs> he hasn't been pregnant or nursing for the last I don't seven years. Think so. <laughs> Not that we didn't. To be fair, we didn't discuss that. But, um, <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. I mean, Noah's what, six and a half? Six, six and a half already? March, April, May, June, July, August. Not quite six and a half. So I've pretty much either been pregnant or nursing for the last six, seven years. And you're coming to the end of that. And that's another thing. Yeah. That's just another, there's, there's all this stuff with you, I think, that's just coming to this head. Yeah. Well, I'm actually really glad that um, Bradley was here because I feel like it helped you, like, 
understand a little bit more and be able to hear from somebody else than like a you know a guy a man who has experienced it so that you don't just think that I'm just crazy no no I mean I'm always gonna think you're a little crazy it doesn't matter what you do <laughs> I mean I'm very sensitive and I'm very hyper aware of my body and of energy like I've been that way for a very long time but I know myself and I know when there's something going on that's not that doesn't feel right and doesn't feel like when I don't feel safe you know I'm not like some spaz that's just like <laughs> okay maybe I'm a little bit of a spaz but it's not and I'm not a what's the word I'm not a maniac. I don't know. <laughs> pull these <laughs> Talking to the wrong person, nowhere. dude. I think everybody's crazy. Well. Every yeah. single last one of them. Maybe in a way, but yeah, I don't just pull these things out of thin air. Like, yeah. It's when there's something legit going on. I don't know if legit is the word I would use to describe well, it. I don't know what the word <laughs> I'm looking for. Something real, something. Yeah. Feel better? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did it feel good to put it out there? Did it feel like it, uh. I mean, it, it does feel good to like talk about it. Good. I guess. <laughs> it just makes me really emotional. Sure. I think I think when you talk, talk about stuff that's really real and that you're not entirely sure about, or and you're not even if you're not sure about it, just talking about, in my experience, the the more real you get with what you're saying, the higher likelihood it is that you're gonna break into tears. Mm -hmm. And if, if it's really good stuff that you're talking about, that's what that's what happens to me at least. Well, and it's that time of the month, so like the tears just flow. <laughs> See, just another thing I can't relate to. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, they just blow. It's I can relate to crying. Time. That's about it. That's where my, yeah. Yeah. Just imagine once a month, like, No, I don't want to. No, I'm purging. good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not good. I don't need to imagine. I wake up every morning. I thank my lucky stars that I was born a man. Every morning I do this. But I am also at the same time very appreciative that not all of us were born men. <laughs> Because that would suck. <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> like, you know, like the existence of the species. <laughs> for, for sure, if it was up to men, we'd have burned the whole world down a long time ago. We're working on it. You would have starved to death. <laughs> you were the gatherers. We were like... Oh, mm, no, those no, berries are poisonous. But we were the hunters. Yeah, but hunting, you only would actually kill something every once in a while. We kept the sustainability going, gathering mm. the nuts and the berries and the seeds and knowing what was safe. Touche. <laughs> uh. It was really nice to have a glass of wine tonight. I feel like it just like, oh, like took the edge off a little bit, you know? I mean, I know, whatever, everything has its place and it's not like I'm gonna carry a flask in my bag, but after <laughs> almost a month of not drinking anything, it was nice to have a glass of wine and a beer outside. It's like, oh, okay. Something to like, yeah. 
I know a lot of you guys have been asking for some more Hillary and when we're going to see some more Hillary time back on the vlog. Well, you just got more Hillary than uh, most people have gotten in the last who knows how long. I don't know. No? Maybe not? That's No. The, that's Sorry, it was kind of a downer. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. It, the idea is not for it to be a downer. Um, the idea is for it to be... Real. Real. And it, th what I've been finding is the more real you are, the more it resonates with people and actually does some good in the world. It's not just some clickbait video that's worthless and, you know, just getting... It's like it's something real that's helping people and something people can relate to in real life. Yeah, no, which and, is the only reason why I would put this out there. <laughs> right, right. So... Ever. And that's more what I've been realizing is what I wanted to do in the first place is I want to put out I've always wanted to but realizing even more like kind of how important it is to just put out things that are like a hundred percent real because that's what benefits people the most that's the whole idea behind YouTube is to put out you not some create I mean, there's plenty of things that you can do to entertain people you know and they're very entertaining, but I think the true value of YouTube is the fact that you can put stuff out like this and you don't have to worry about some network trying to figure out what algorithm is going to work or what, what, what formula is going to work to keep people engaged and get people entertained and to keep people coming back and back for more. Right, and it'll, it'll reach who it's supposed to reach. It'll reach who it's supposed to reach and who really needs to see it. People will resonate with it. If they do, they're great. If not, it's not for them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll probably I'll probably make I'm gonna make this a whole separate video from um, today's vlog. I'll put like a, a mm. beginning of it and then I'll just like because it's well over mm. <laughs> the amount of time that a, we're almost like a half hour deep at this point. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. Wow. The, 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 the timer doesn't lie. I felt like like ten minutes. All right. Well. Yeah. Alright, let's do something fun. Okay. Let's watch a movie here. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put a little clip for today's vlog where I can explain that there's going to be a second video part to it. And if you want to see that, then you know, if you're somebody that's been dealing with anxiety, then it'll maybe help or, or even you, they could help you. Mm -hmm. You know, with just some comments about experiences they've been through and how, what if they're still going through it or, you know, if they, what they did or what, what they found help or, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So let's do that real quick. You don't, have, you don't have to sit here for it. I'll just, oh, I'll talk about it. Right now? Yeah, I'm just going to hit, I'm just okay. going to take me two minutes. Okay. 